I'm Paul J and Jonathan Bradley fighting this weekend at uh, Madison Square Garden for WSOF 34 against uh, tough Yushin Okami and looking forward to it. Yushin, you know, he, he's on a two fight win streak, but same time that was over in Japan. His, his last fight in WSOF was a decision loss to Fitch, so took a lot from that, you know, uh, the way Fitch grinded him and stuff. And I'm, I'm a bigger, stronger Fitch anyway, so. I know he's good in the clinch. We're gonna avoid that and gonna cover distance with hard strikes. And if that takedown's there, I'll definitely take it, but looking to make him pay every time he comes in. You know, I think uh, we match up pretty good, pretty even on the uh, on the grappling, although I have a better wrestling background, you know. Uh, but he is good on the ground. He's a strong guy. He's good in the clinch. Uh, I think my striking's better better than his. I think he's, you know, rudimentary in, in that aspect. It's like he's won two shots, but I know he's strong. I know he's tough. Uh, you know, I think my cardio is going to be better. The, the guy's making a huge weight cut. He was big at 185. You know, now he, you know, he's coming all the way down to 70. So I know he's had three fights there, but man, I'm sure that weight cut isn't easy and it's going to kill him. If you watch any Yushin's fights, he kind of freaks out when he gets hit. You know, Jock Ray, you know, prime example, threw a hard left hook, didn't even touch him, got him backing up, hit him with two straight rights, and that, that, that was the end of it. So it's more about covering the distance with strikes. Even if the first, second, or third doesn't hit him, it's got to be the fourth or the fifth. So looking to put some pressure on him right away and like make him, make him feel every shot. The outcome, you know, is with, with my hand raise, of course, but. You know, I definitely could see myself catching him, hurting him, and, and finishing him. That being said, he's, he's a tough guy, you know, not many guys have finished him. But, you know, I'm, I'm just going to put a pace on him, and, and that's the goal. It's the same thing as Fitch, wear him down, break him, break him down, and, you know, come third round, you know, he's going to be clock watching, and we're going to put him down. I want to finish where I left off my last fight, which was 40 second knockout. I want, I, I want, I just want it over quick. I, I don't get paid by the minute. I get, you know, I get paid by the performance and the win. So the quicker, the quicker the better for me. And get in, get out, and go enjoy myself in NYC. A shout out to Alliance MMA, you know, Victory MMA for for letting me train here and training with uh, all the big guys. You know, Jordan Johnson, uh, Taylor Johnson, uh, all those big guys. You know. Uh, Big shout out to my, my management at Iridium Sports Agency with Jason House and Jimmy Luce. Uh, thank you sponsors, first off Dynamic Fastener, uh, My House Sports Gear, uh, Heritage Truck and Painting and Auto Body. Uh, I also got Sticky No More, super good guy. I have uh, G Foot Kiel, who is awesome, great person, WTC wide format, who is even cool, who's a super cool guy from my hometown, been with me for for ages, high boost of fight gear, of course. Uh, chilling out crowd therapy across the street. If you haven't done the chilling out, I highly recommend it for recovery. Um, it's just awesome, man. And yeah, like I said, all my team. And if I'm missing a sponsor, I'm sorry, but like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got everyone. But yeah, thanks, guys, and look forward to doing work on Saturday. Follow us on Instagram. Watch us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. Visit us on Twitter, and stay tuned.